Let's roll, people. Let's go. Take two. Florencia Martin has brought back history in a way that has made it so alive. You're going to find a Los Angeles that you can taste and smell and touch because of her work. Role players. In discussions with Damien about how he wanted the film to look visually, from the get-go, he said, I want to be very historically accurate. My first evolution is diving into research and looking at what the city looked like in the 20s. Florencia had this insane challenge with this movie of not just recreating Los Angeles at this time, but also within that, recreating each studio experience, and within that, recreating each of the sort of fictional movie sets. You're talking about sets within sets within sets. Action! The first week of shooting was the sort of big kinescope sequence. We found this location in Peru, and we came here because it's completely desolate, and it was what Hollywood and studios looked like in the silent film era. Action! What had been a completely empty field, Florencia and her team used as the basis for building an outdoor silent movie studio with six or seven sets running at all times. It was extraordinary. Cut. So, now what did we discuss? When in doubt, say something French. There's two worlds in this film. There's people that are very impoverished, and then there's people that have a lot of money. Looking at how we were gonna shape those worlds by color was really important. Damien wanted to be bold with our color choices while still being historically accurate. Building sound stages, an entire 900-person battlefield, and six high-end homes, and doing historical recreations. Babylon is at the scale of these mythical movies you heard of in the past. We've got to innovate. We've got to inspire. What happens up on that screen means something.